Losing weight is great until you lose muscle too. Stay tuned as we tell you how to prevent that. A lot of people want to lose weight, but can you lose the wrong weight? You don't want to lose your muscles. I totally you agree. Want to be ripped. <laughs> like Lots Dr. Fritz. Lots of muscle, low fat. So today we're going to talk about the best way to lose some of the fat without sacrificing all the muscle or a lot of the muscle. Yeah. Now, I read a study that showed that up to 35% of weight lost, if you're doing it by uh, diet alone, low calorie diet, can be muscle. That's extraordinary. And people generally work hard to put on muscle. The best thing is to not lose it in the first place. Especially as you get older. Yeah. It gets harder to maintain and build that muscle. So um, if you are dieting, listen in. Yeah. So there's a couple of good ways that people can help maintain their muscle while they're losing weight. What would you say your favorite way is to promote? Lift weights. Lift weights. Yeah. Strength training. Strength training, yes. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it, especially if you're, if you're dieting and cutting back on those calories. It's a pretty simple thing, exercise. And they've even shown that like walking, um, it can be a weight bear, it's a weight bearing exercise, can help preserve the muscles in the legs. Um, if you want to preserve the muscles up top, you need to do something besides walk though. How about um, any dietary changes that maybe people should make? Adequate amount of protein. Adequate protein. Not necessarily tons of it. Right. But there is a recommended amount. So the recommended dietary allowance for, it's kind of like the, the minimum is what I would think of, for protein is 0 0.8, 0 0.8 grams per kilogram per day. But is that enough? That's on the low end. Especially if you're exercising and working on a low calorie diet. Some of those uh, calories are going to come from the protein. So you want to make sure you have enough protein to be able to maintain your muscle. So I've seen numbers uh, up to like 50% higher, so like 1.2 grams per kilogram per day of protein, which still isn't as much as what the bodybuilders promote. I think they're up in the 2 to 2.2 grams per, per kilogram rate. Sounds like a lot. I was looking at some studies in preparation for this, and I think if you get more than about 1.6 grams per kilogram, that you just don't see any real benefit after that. So I think if you're staying in that 1.2 range, you should be good. If you're a bodybuilder, one, maybe 1 1.6. But you know, beyond that, not too many people need more than that. So we got we got strength training, some exercise, um, higher protein, making sure you got ad adequate amount of, of protein, which is kind of the building blocks of your muscle to build that muscle. And what else? I don't know. What are some? Muscle. Okay, so that's that's how you build muscle. Um, but I guess if we're talking about losing weight at the same right. time, you don't want to be too dramatic. I tend to be the my personality type when I want to like trim up a little bit, and I do sometimes need to trim up. I'll, I'll... He's got to get into that speedo. Yeah, um, I, I'll I'll just really cut back, and uh, that is not the best way to do this. A Aggre real aggressive calorie restriction yeah. um, is going to sacrifice. Uh, more muscle than what you want to do. So I think a better alternative is to take your number of calories that you're eating and just trim it down by a little bit and see if you can do slow and steady. Because if you lose the muscle during weight loss and you try to, to gain weight again, most of it's going to come back as fat and it's going to be very slow to put on the muscle. Yeah. So why is it important to maintain this muscle? Well, for the obvious, we want to look good. We want to look good. That's right. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, you want to you want to be strong. You want you want your body to um, have uh, good strength to prevent injuries. Mm -hmm. Another really good benefit of having more muscle and less fat are the uh, the metabolic factors. It decreases your insulin resistance, which makes your body work better and less apt to get diabetes and heart disease and strokes and certain types of cancer. So having more muscle for most people is a benefit. Just as you get older, it just allows you to do more things. It keeps you, keeps you strong, keeps you from getting weak, keeps you from falling. Right. Um, those are all big things. Is there a time period where neglecting strength training will lead to muscle loss? I don't know for sure, but I think it's pretty fast. I, I remember working in the hospitals and seeing ICU patients, and they would lose their muscles fast. Like in a week or two, they would need physical therapy just to be able to walk. So I think it's pretty fast, but if you are active in doing things, I think it's going to be a lot less than if you're just completely sedentary in a bed in, a, in an ICU. Is there an age where a person will start to see muscle loss? After about, I want to 
to say 35 mm -hmm. or so, average population slowly starts losing muscle mass. We call it sarcopenia. And so you want to maintain that muscle. So if you're 30 years old and you're not exercising now, you better start. Not that you can't uh, build muscle later on. It True. just gets a little bit harder. It's much harder. It's much better if you can build it now and then just maintain it for later. Okay, how do the injectable weight loss medicines factor into this? Any weight loss, any weight loss, any dieting or calorie restriction, this applies to. Your body's looking for its next energy source after it burns through those glycogen stores and everything. And so you want it targeting the fat, not your muscle. And if you're on a one of these Ozempics or Wegovies or Zep Bounds uh, and you're losing weight rapidly, you need to be doing these things that we talked about. Protein important for muscles, exercise important for muscles. So if you want to learn more about that, you definitely should check out our video on creatine.